Today we find ourselves on the Finger Lake Trail, heading up, which mountain is it, Alan? Washington? Mount Washington. I've got my brother, Alan, here. Say hey to everybody. Hey. And his son, Robbie, my nephew. Hi. And of course, I'm Carl. We'll be getting onto the trail in just a minute, and we'll see how we do. We're getting kind of a late start, but you know how things are. You try to get everything organized, and things just fall apart. But here we are, we're ready to go, and let's hit it. We're just talking about how all of us sound the same when we talk, so you might get confused in this video. Which one of us is talking? I don't know. <laughs> we all kind of got Dad's throaty voice. Yes. <laughs> this is going to be fun. Again. Oh, I know it. We're getting up there. I don't have an altimeter, altmeter, altimeter watch. <laughs> Oh yeah. Act some because this is a dry gulch. like a guy in a top hat. Oh yeah. Hunting action. I think this road is part that they shut down after the 12th for hunting. This is like a private road. First downhill we've had in an hour and a half.
Uh, I've caught back up to you. I'm busy playing with my camera. <laughs> the meadow. Beware of the meadow. Wow, this is a change of scenery. All right, who's gonna do the Julie Andrews? <laughs> the hills are alive with the sound of music. <laughs> I'm asking you. It just looks like there's something to see over there. Okay, just spin around once with your hands in the air. Very good. <laughs> oh, it's a dwelling. Oh, there is a house. Somebody there. lives here. You probably should be in their lawn. Badly wants to see it. Oh, there's the, there he is. Go for it, lad. Go oh, live your life. See something. <laughs> well, sort of men will stay behind and observe from a distance. I was looking at a video on how to speak Scottish, and you have to like click your R's and shorten every word. Like, ain't wouldn't do it. No, loppy. North Country Trail? Yeah, North Country Phoenix Trail. It goes, it goes, it goes longer than the Finger Lakes Trail and it intersects the Finger Lakes Trail. Okay. Yeah, the Finger Lakes Trail is about 584 miles and North Country goes from like the middle of the country all the way to the coast or something. Cool. So we're sharing the FLT and the North and North Country. Okay, cool. We've got some elevation now. I can see way down the valley now. It doesn't pick it up on the camera very well. Up there now, almost to the top of the mountain. I think this is called Washington Mountain. Then we'll be setting up camp for the night. It's a nice fir trees in there. Burning daylight. Inter interlocking trail. You don't wreck something. You missed something. Did we miss it? Here they come. Here's a double blaze. Here's a single and a single. What in the blazes? to our campsite. What's this called? The June bug campsite? Looks like we got plenty of firewood. We got plenty of birch bark. We'll put Robbie in charge of the fire gathering and Alan and I will start creating shelters. I don't think we're gonna have any difficulties with weather tonight. It's supposed to be clear, cool, 50 degrees. Is this a vista over here, Alan? No. Just <laughs> a locked out house that does us a lot of good. Um, is that the trail that goes to the museum? Yes, that's oh, the trail okay. that goes to the museum. 
Very nice. Yeah, it's a nice grassy mode. Alrighty, we shall get to work making camp and we'll check with you later. These are coming up. Alan's got his just about done. I've got the Ozark set up. What's neat about this tent is I've got the fly pulled back and you can access the tent from the top to put your sleeping bag and your pad and everything in it. So we'll be good to go here and shortly. We got Robbie down the hill gathering firewood using a unique system of a loop of rope and he can carry a ton of it. So we're already pretty well stopped. Pretty substantial fire pit over here. This is so far what Robbie's collected. We got some birch bark, nature's gasoline. That'll light even though it's wet. A bunch of kindling and a fire pit ready to go. So we're in good shape. Looks like it's gonna be a good night. We'll check back with you once we get the fire and dinner started. Robbie the woodman with a good bunch of firewood. We're gonna have a fire tonight, gang. <laughs> Better put the rain fly on my tent. I don't think it's gonna rain, but it doesn't look all that good right now. We'll have to do a gear review on that later. Self-sewn, handmade, sleeping bag fleece liner. I'm going to just have to wear clothes inside my bag if it gets too cold, because I don't have a liner fancy like you do. <laughs> nope, the woodsman just went back down the hill. I think he plans on having a 13-hour fire, which is fine. He did a good job, though. There's plenty. <laughs> Bear bags way down the hill up over a tree for tonight after we get done cooking. Everyone's got their chairs set up. Looks like it's going to be a great night. Dinner. Uh, lighting up his. What kind of stove is that? Is it? It's We're all very impressed by your. Why am I videotaping? I'm going to take a picture of the Smile, Alan. good idea to hang your bear bag of course away from your camp and we've got ours way up here in this tree with a pulley system coming down where Alan's tying it off to a tree right now that ought to keep it fairly protected for the night we're not that worried about it in this area because it's fairly close to civilization good job Alan Here's midnight. All is dark except for the glow of the fire. Thank you. 